Once I had a darling mother, but I can't recall her name. I had a baby brother who I'll never see again. For the children's home is sending us out on the orphan train to try and find someone to take us in. Take us in. We have rode the orphan train. Take us in. We need a home. We need a name. Take us in. Oh, won't you be our kin? We are looking for someone to take us in. The orphan train movement began in 1854 with the Children's Aid Society. It would grow with 30 placing out organizations and they would place children from New York and other cities out east, later from the Midwest, uh, across the United States. They were taking children from lodging houses and orphanages who did not have any parents um, to take care of them. And so those children were destined for a life in an orphanage or on the streets of New York. And so they wanted to take those children and put them into homes out west where they would not only have parents, but a family unit and a community to fall back on. But it's the beginning of foster care in America. Now the farmers and their families, they came from miles around. We'd line up at the platform of the station in each town. One by one we parted like some living lost and found. One by one we all were taken in. There's a lot of numbers thrown about of how many children are placed out, but at least 250,000 kids were placed out in a 75 year period with the other organizations that decide to also place out in this manner, that number could raise at least to probably 350,000. The impact of the orphan train movement is massive <laughs> and hard to comprehend at times. Of course, the orphan train riders went on to become parents um, and have children and grandchildren, and we know that there's at least 40 million descendants living today. Now there's many a good doctor or a teacher in your school. There's many a good preacher who can preach the golden rule. Started out an orphan standing in the freezing rain, whose life began out on the orphan train. Although the societies definitely have good checkup programs and, and do their best to do well by the children, it's hard not to talk about the resiliency of a child. There might be bad cases, but that doesn't mean bad children. And the system, whether or not people believe it was broken, doesn't mean they're broken kids. I have two writers, my father and his brother. They were placed out in November of 1916 to the small town of Maple Lake, Minnesota. I plan to read a letter that my uncle wrote to the foundling in 1933 that was 17 years after their placement, when he began looking for the information himself about his origins. Isn't there a chance, whatever, to get in touch with my parents? Good sister, you don't know how much I long for my parents. Seems funny, but I never liked the farm. I began to hate it since the time we were adopted by Mr. Cavanaugh in Maple Lake, Minnesota. I still have a big scar on my right leg from the whip he used on me for some unknown reason. How could it be? How could anyone be so cruel to a child as to use a horse whip on them? I don't know if we'll ever get to the point where the state or the federal government can answer all the questions or all the issues. It always amazes me today that I think of Marion in 1911 where they take in tons of orphan train riders and then communities, unfortunately, today can't find enough foster care homes. But I know they're there, and oftentimes we just don't know they're there until it's, you know, right in front of our face. I guess that's what the orphan train did, is it was better at putting it in front of your face. And oftentimes, I find the orphan train and foster care movement are talked about the same way, where both programs are broken and both programs needed desperate help, and, and somehow that falls onto the child and now that makes that child undesirable. And that is not okay. The child is still in need, regardless of the situation they find themselves in, it's not their fault. They bear the brunt of what we can't do. Take us in, we have rode the orphan train. Take us in, we need a home, we need a name. Take us in, won't you be our kin? We are looking for someone to take us in.